Okay. Or should I say, okay. I'm back. Um, this weekend, well, Saturday night, I bought four whiskeys, three of which I have already tried. I might as well go all the way and try the last one of the four that I have. So I've had three drams so far, generous drams, I might add. So if I seem to slur my words a little bit and appear to be a little drunk, well, no, I'm not trying to be drunk. I just want to try this because it's, um, I'm, uh, I'm on a roll. And uh, I might as well give this a shot. Um, I don't know who recommended this to me, but it's uh, something completely different. It's Stranahan's Colorado Whiskey, 750 mils, and how many proof? 40%, 47% alcohol by volume. And I want to sleep this afternoon anyway. Straight Rocky Mountain Whiskey. Uh, original and handmade. Born in the fires of George Stranahan's old barn, our whiskey has always been handcrafted exclusively with Colorado grains and Rocky Mountain spring water. Straight, Bigger and strong Stranahan's whiskey is double distilled by small batches from our proprietary blend of four barleys and then aged in virgin charred American white oak barrels. So this is like an American single malt. Aged in virgin casks. Oh, <laughs> this is going to be something. And there, just like the tin cup whiskey, it has a, a tin cup on the top of it. This is a much deeper tin cup than the tin cup of the tin cup whiskey. I could use this, I suppose, to drink out of, but I will favor a dirty Glencairn Glask, which has had, oh, some lovely Canadian whiskeys in it, and I'm still getting hints of butterscotch from it. But let's see what else this says on here. American whiskey, whiskey American, product of U.S., Padre des Etats-Unis, Stranahan's Colorado whiskey, Denver, Colorado, USA. Return for refund where applicable. 47% alcohol by volume, 750 mils. This is Stranahan's Colorado Whiskey. It comes straight from the Rocky Mountains and is aged in a minimum of three years in our new charred oak barrels. It is non-chill filtered and made in small batches, bottled and or distilled and bottled by Stranahan's Colorado Whiskey, Denver, Colorado. Colorado Whiskey, 750 mils, 47% alcohol by volume. Bottle number, 4902, distiller signature. Permit number, DSP CO 15022. Bottle number, 4902. That's special. This is the only bottle 4902 in existence. I feel special now. Ah, that was righteous pump. I like the shape of the bottle. It's easy to pour. I'd say that, that oh, it's a little low. That's that's in the Goldilocks zone. That's just about right. Maybe a touch much, but that don't matter. Plastic cork. Oh, it's 
hard to get in there. It's a tight one. That's good. That's a good thing. Okay. Here we go. Mile high single malt. Oh. I smell oranges. And lemons. Save the bells of St. Clements. Where's that from? Is that from 1984? <laughs> well, that was over 30 years ago. Ah, new activity on my video. Haha. <laughs> well, I'll have to get to that sooner or later. I'm getting, yes. Did I say oranges and lemons? We're talking. Fruity. We're talking citrus. Bit of apricot in there, too. Mmm. Orange, lemon, apricot. I'll let this open up a little more. See what else we can find. Yes, apricots. Lots and lots of apricots. Mm, I'm getting a bit of malt now. Yeah, there's a malty kind of vaguely plasticine kind of smell to it. Yes, malt. Absolutely malt. It's a strong citrus note with undertones of malt and clay. <sighs> oh, I may, have, I may have really had a success with every whiskey I bought this week. I was searching quality and I was searching for things that I had not tried before. This Stranahan's has a special Oh, I'm getting something else. Lots of citrus, some clay, mild plasticine. It's not plasticine in the bad way. It's, it just reminds me of plasticine, whatever it is. And I'm getting some malt and I'm smelling the barley somewhat. Ah, oh. shall I taste this or should I just nose it all week? It's got a nice nose. Oh, I was sent a video. Gosh, doesn't it suck to be popular? Oh. Ah, oh. so it's all virgin oak. Virgin oak would bring that citrus in there. Oh, this might be a real bruiser when it comes to flavor. Let's go. Mm. Oh. Intense citrus, citrus, oranges and lemons, and there's a there's a caramel, and there's a vanilla. Oh, there's vanilla. Oh, yeah, there's vanilla, and it's got a spicy, malty, almost minty, minty taste in there. Is a minty, it would be halfway between spearmint and wintergreen. Oh, that minty note is excellent. Definitely, definitely towards the end. I'm getting a slight, very slight hint of Bazooka Joe bubblegum. <laughs> yeah.
This is one class act. That was just on the first pull. Let's see what I get after that. Oranges and lemons, yes. Citrus. Now I'm smelling more of the caramel. I'm getting caramel. I'm not getting any of that minty thing on the nose. Mmm, caramel, vanilla, mm, citrus. There's a bit of complexity to this. I like the fact that they used virgin oak. Um, virgin, virgin oak casks for the, virgin American oak for the maturation. Oh, yes. Mm. Mm. This is a symphony of citrus and caramel and spearmint, wintergreen. Very interesting little whiskey, this. Very interesting. Oh, me likey. This mm. Oh, this is delightful stuff. This is every bit as good as the Glengiri virgin oak. Ah, oh, intense, intense wood influence. It's got those citrus notes. It's got that caramel. It has some understated vanilla beneath it. Maybe my taste buds taste caramel more than they taste vanilla. But it's there, from what I can gather. It's not a toffee. It's more of a straight caramel. It's like, you know, that caramel spread that you used to put on the bread? Well, we used to have it in Quebec where I grew up. And it was like a caramel spread that you just spread it on a bread. And it was great stuff. Oh. This is one super fine. American whiskey. Probably the nicest American whiskey I've ever had. Oh, oh, oh. Gorgeous nose. Mm. Fabulous flavor. If this is what American single malt is about, this is grand. This is, I like it. I like this. This is Stranahan's. That's what the bottle looks like. Oh, ho, ho, ho. And it's pretty young, you know. It's only about three or four years old. But, but when it's aged in the virgin American oak casks, when it's virgin oak, it doesn't need more time than that. The only reason why Scotch whiskies have age, age statements of 15 and 18 and 21 years and all that is because they're using casks that have already carried bourbon and they've already carried sherry in their used casks. They're not necessarily even first fill casks. They've been used and used and used. And so the vit the whiskey has to sit in that cask for a long time in order to get any flavor out of the wood. This here is fresh wood. 
and it imparts the flavor, bam, right to the whiskey. So it doesn't have to sit in there all that long to get mature and to get really good. Oh, yeah. I'm liking this a lot. Mmm. Mmm. To your very good health. Cheers. Food quick. Uh, food quick. 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 Food quick.